What is up guys, today is July 22nd, 2015, and today I have something I think you guys will like quite a bit. First of all, today's my birthday, so happy birthday to yours truly. Uh, and this is going to be one out of two birthday celebration videos I'm going to be posting up on YouTube today. So, uh, obviously this is going to be a fire alarm test, and the, the, the reason why I'm doing a fire alarm test is because, like, first things first, it's my birthday, and, like, what a better day to test some fire alarms than on my birthday, right? Um, and second of all, I just checked my channel, and I uh, scrolled through my most recent uploads, and I discovered that I have not posted a fire alarm video to this channel in uh, probably a few months now. It's been a good... It's been a good few months since you guys have seen a fire alarm video on this channel, and I've decided that's way too long. And I kind of do miss, like, making these. The reason why uh, there's been an absence is because I do not have a fire alarm panel that is currently working. Uh, the 4005 is still out of commission until I get a replacement CPU on it. I do still plan to do that. I've not forgotten about it. Just been pretty busy lately. Um, I do plan to get a, re a replacement CPU on it, though. No promises and no guarantees as to when that's going to happen, but I'll keep you guys updated as time moves on. Um, I do have the... Uh, so, everything here is being powered off with the panel batteries, which is all I've got now. Um, and uh, since it's my birthday, I have my choice of devices plugged in. Um, now, it was pretty hard to decide between the devices. You know, these are some of my favorite devices, but there's so many other awesome devices in my collection that I could have used... I just decided to pick these out because I really couldn't decide. So, um, I've got all Simplex devices because Simplex makes my favorite uh, devices. Simplex is my favorite brand of a fire alarm, definitely. And uh, so, let's go ahead and show you the setup here. Um, everything is smart sync, so it's all going to be synced up. Thanks to my Simplex 4905-9938 smart sync module. Um, then, for the pulse station to activate, I got my Simplex 2099-9756 dual action T-bar. Not so dual action anymore, though, um, because uh, the push bar on it is broken. But that's okay. It still works fine. To the left of it, I've got probably uh, all of you guys' favorite device here. Got my Simplex 4906-9134 True Alert Smart Sync Chime Strobe. To the left of that, I got my Simplex 4901-9820 horn, uh, True Alert horn. This is uh, Smart Sync selectable, so it can either operate on Smart Sync or Free Run. I've got it on Smart Sync, obviously. Um, this is my Simplex 4904-9332 Smart Sync strobe only. Got two of my four Simplex True Alert speaker strobes. I've got like one of each model number. Um, this is my Simplex. This is one of my two Simplex 4906-9151. Uh, smart sync speaker strobes. This is one of my two Simplex uh, True Alert 9357 speaker strobes. This one is selectable, so it can operate on either free run or smart sync. Obviously, the speakers are not plugged in, just the strobes. Um, and then I got my Simplex 4904-9177 strobe, either smart sync or free run. Got it on smart sync. So, yeah, that's the setup. I'm going to go ahead and get some hearing protection on, and we're going to go ahead and get the video started. Um, so yeah, because the, the True Alert horn is extremely loud, so True Alerts are incredibly loud devices. So, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and uh, get the test started. Uh, everything's on code 3. The only two audible devices that are sounding are the chime strobe and the horn. And, uh, they are both on code 3 by the sync module. So, let's go ahead and do this. 3, 2, 1. in sync. There you guys go. That was that. That was the first uh, like fire alarm test that's been on my channel in like months now probably. Like, hope you guys didn't forget about me or forget about the, uh, the, all the stuff I've got. Uh, again, I just haven't had a lot of time to, uh, I haven't been able to track down a CPU for the 4005. So, 
Uh, I'm sorry for the absence in the, the fire alarm videos, but I finally got this up. I like hope you guys will be happy to see that I got this up, and I like haven't forgotten about the fire alarm hobby because uh, you know don't believe that because I have not forgotten about the fire alarm hobby. It's like all still here. Just been taking a break from it for just a little bit, not too long. So this is the first video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the second video will be on the the birthday present I picked out off of eBay, which is the radio. You guys will be seeing that in the second video I'll be posting in a few hours. Um, so yeah, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Stay tuned. And that's it.